Hey, good morning and welcome. This is Patrick Baker with Prime of Life Tech. Oh, I think I got a lag here. Anyhow, this is Patrick Baker with Prime of Life Tech. And this is Senior Tech Coffee. And I'm here to talk about off the shelf age tech solutions. Uh, I'm gonna switch from my laggy screen back to my live Zoom. And so good morning. Welcome. If you're just joining us, I'm Patrick Baker, and this is Senior Tech Coffee. Um, I'm with Prime of Life Tech, and our topic today is off-the-shelf age tech solutions, So, or just off-the-shelf age tech. So uh, let me fire up a presentation here, and we're going to get started. So just bear with me here while I uh, switch things up. All right, so I just started sharing. And uh, so again, welcome. Episode 32 of Senior Tech Coffee, uh, here to talk about uh, age tech solutions uh, that you can get uh, from retailers that you probably already work with uh, or, and or uh, companies that have uh, things that, um, uh, products that you've that you've purchased in the past. So anyhow, let me just uh, let me let me forge ahead here. Uh, again, I'm Patrick Baker, my company's Prime of Life Tech. Um, I provide IT tech support and training for the older adult community as well as small businesses. I also work with many senior care professionals. Uh, I can work with you both on site or remotely. And um, I provide a variety of services to seniors, both individuals and in community settings. So uh, happy to speak with you. And you can learn more about me and my services at primeoflifetech.com. All right. So let's jump, uh, jump right in to uh, off-the-shelf age tech. So what does that entail? Well, first, let's just talk a little bit about older adults and technology generally. Um, so older adults um, or adults 65 and older um, have steadily increased their technology usage since uh, you know, the last decade, over the course of the last decade. 75% uh, have used the internet uh, last year and 61% own a smartphone, according to Pew. So that's a big chunk of that population who are dialed in and online, as it were. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what is age tech. Um, so first off, uh, it's technology and services that are designed with and for older adults. So, uh, so think of um, things like smartphones or um, displays on smart devices, or even um, apps and, and other things where we're trying to make, uh, we're trying to solve issues for the older adult population. Uh, in addition, um, we're looking for solutions that can help our older adult population live independently for longer. Um, you know, anyone uh, who speaks with the older adult population or looks at the, uh, the polling or, um, yeah, the polling or survey numbers knows that people are trying to live on their own for as long as they can. Um, it can also help uh, families, caregivers, and senior care professionals better manage care for older adults. So, and we'll talk about some of the specifics here in terms of specific apps uh, or um, technologies here in just a moment. And again, if you're just joining us, I'm Patrick Baker with Prime of Life Tech. We're talking about off-the-shelf age tech uh, for older adults. So, when I say off-the-shelf age tech, I mean products and services from companies that you know. Now, specifically today, we're gonna to be talking about two products, Alexa Together, which is a product that uh, Amazon came out with uh, at the end of last year, and then a, the Timex uh, Senior Watch, that is a smart watch that has a bunch of built-in safety features and communication features, and we'll get more to the details here in momentarily. Um, so most of these uh, are fee-based services. So in addition to any sort of equipment that you might have to procure, um, there is a subscription uh, involved typically. Um, 
And so as far as some of the specific features that we're looking at, I mean, age tech is a pretty uh, broad uh, topic, generally speaking. And so I just want to um, emphasize that I'm focusing on some very specific um, things and features that uh, we want to introduce to help with uh, the older adult population and help them live independently, as well as provide a, a better level of care. So uh, these devices often are, uh, have two-way communication capabilities. In addition, um, there are some passive monitoring capabilities and we'll get into what that means here momentarily. Um, caregiving support, being able to uh, assist caregivers in better managing care for um, our older adult um, clients and loved ones. Um, emergency alerts, uh, if uh, someone has uh, the need for immediate assistance, uh, giving them the ability to ask for immediate or emergency uh, help is something that we want, uh, as well as to notify people uh, who are caring for these folks that they are in need of help. Um, fall detection and alerts uh, is another feature that we're gonna be uh, looking at in terms of what some of these things will do. Uh, and we're talking about products that utilize uh, smart home technology as well as wearables. So the first, as I mentioned, is a product that's called Alexa Together. Alexa Together came out at the end of last year uh, it's a subscription service that allows uh, family members or caregivers to monitor the well-being of their uh, loved ones or clients. Uh, older adults, they can get additional support as needed, uh, just using voice commands. And it also requires an Alexa Together subscription uh, and an Echo device. Uh, either the Echo Dot, which you see in the, uh, in the picture on the slide, or the Echo Show, which is their smart screen. And I'll have a picture of that here in a second. Uh, some additional features um, with the Alexa together, and there's several sort of like groups of major features, and we're going to go into each of them uh, at a high level here. So the first one's called the Circle of Support. What that does is, uh, so starting uh, early this year, um, Alexa Together will allow subscribers to add additional caregivers to their Alexa Together account. So the subscriber in this case is the older adult uh, who uh, has the Echo device and is subscribing to the service. Uh, the Alexa Together app allows one caregiver at this time, whether it's a family member or a professional, to um, essentially be added to the Alexa Together account, and that person will receive uh, alerts and notifications based on the uh, older adult's activities uh, using the um, Alexa and the Echo device. In addition, um, the um, the circle of uh, Circle of support subscribers are gonna receive those adults, uh, I'm sorry, gonna receive those alerts concerning the person or the older adult in their care. And <clears throat> as well, um, a single caregiver, as I mentioned a moment ago, is, is only supported at this time. Um, so in the, in the picture there, you see what it would look like on a phone if you received an alert on the lock screen and then within the app itself, um, there are some uh, there's a picture of some of the features there. So uh, among the features as far as custom alerts and in the activity feed that you're gonna see uh, as the caregiver uh, using the Alexa Together app is concerned, um, you're gonna get daily alerts whenever your client or loved one first uses their Echo device or if they haven't used it by a specific time. So that way you know that, you know, in this case, maybe it's mom or dad that you know that they're up and around that they began their, um, you know, Alexa wake up routine and that, you know, everything is good. In addition, um, the activity feed allows caregivers to see, um, you know, just how their care, uh, how their older adult person interacts with the Alexa throughout the day. Um, and that applies with any of the smart home devices that they might have in the house. Uh, in addition to anything, basically anything that works through uh, Alexa.
Um, let's see. So in addition, uh, we've got a 24-7 urgent response um, capability. This allows subscribers to uh, get um, support from a professionally staffed call center 24-7. Uh, so this is part of the subscription. Uh, if your client or loved one uh, calls out and says, Alexa, call for help, then the uh, Amazon's urgent support team will respond either through the Echo speaker or through the Echo Show device. Um, Alexa Together also notifies the subscriber's circle of support when they can call for help. Um, so, <clears throat> and... Uh, or when they do call for help. So, uh, so in other words, if, if mom or dad calls out, not only does the call center get notified, but the circle of support, uh, anyone who is you know, receiving notifications through the Alexa Together app is going to get um, notified as well that there's been an emergency. Um, the fall detection. So fall detection um, basically works when uh, you're pairing up uh, Alexa together with a supported wearable or push button device. So just bear in mind that the Echo itself, the, the smart speaker or the smart display has no built-in smart, uh, I'm sorry, built-in fall detection capabilities. So you're basically pairing up additional devices, whether it's a push button or it's a wearable uh, so that um, if a fall is detected, uh, Alexa will um, ask the subscriber either if they want to notify the urgent response line uh, and their emergency contacts, uh, and if there's no response, then they're automatically notified. Uh, so remote assistance is an is a interesting feature. What this allows uh, family members and caregivers to do is to set reminders, manage shopping lists, or remotely manage certain features for their client or loved one's Echo devices. Uh, so, for example, uh, if your, um, your, your uh, family member or client had an Echo show, uh, you could put a reminder up on the screen that says uh, they've got a doctor's appointment coming up at you know 10 a.m. or something like that, or just have Alexa announce uh, you know verbally that uh, that you know certain reminders at specific times. And you can control all of this through the app. Um, the drop-in feature. This is the Echo Show that I mentioned earlier. Uh, the smart screen display. So here you see a live video call uh, between the, uh, um, the 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 person's son in this case uh, and the older adult in the in the little uh, uh, picture in picture screen. So it's essentially like an intercom. Um, but anyone who has used um, uh, video calling over the last couple of years, this should be very familiar, uh, or even FaceTime or uh, other video chat uh, software like. Um, uh, WhatsApp and so forth. Um, you can um, you know, initiate these calls. The drop-in feature, however, allows the caregiver to essentially pop in, as it were, uh, with a, and essentially check up and make sure that uh, the older adult that they're caring for is okay. Now, this has to be, the drop-in feature has to be enabled by the subscriber, in this case, the older adult who uh, owns the, uh, the Echo device. So uh, uh, it's not like they don't have any control over their privacy in that case. Um, so as far as cost and availability is concerned, um, Alexa Together, the app and service is available uh, right now. Um, support for multiple caregivers is scheduled for early 2022. I have not seen any announcements as to when that is uh, going to be available uh, anytime soon. Uh, it currently supports uh, a single care recipient. So in other words, if you were a, um, a, a professional caregiver, um, you're providing, providing home care for multiple clients, um, this isn't really designed to support uh, your caseload or case management. So just uh, something to bear in mind for senior care professionals. 
cost wise, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the echo dot, depending on the model is between 30 and $60. Um, uh, and that's the smart speaker. Uh, the echo show, uh, depending on the model and size is between 85 and $250. So those can uh, run a little bit pricey if you get the larger one. In addition, um, <clears throat> as far as the subscription is concerned, you can pay uh, of either the $19.99 a month, or you can pay for a fill year in advance for uh, $199. Um, anyhow, um, I th yeah, I think that was everything I had for uh, Alexa together. And as I mentioned, <clears throat> um, this is available now, and um, we can uh, discuss specifics. If you have any questions, uh, just reach out to me about this service and how it could maybe help you uh, help uh, better care for your loved one or, uh, or your clients who need some extra support, but who still want to um, you know, live independently. Um, so the next, the next um, product that I wanted to mention um, in our age tech, uh, our off the shelf age tech discussion is the Timex Senior Connect smartwatch. Um, there's a picture of the watch itself. Um, so it's uh, a smartwatch that's designed for um, older adults. It uses uh, it's used in conjunction with the Timex Family Connect app. Now there's a um, there's a watch that uh, is uh, meant for uh, for kids for children, um, and then there's the senior version of the watch. And so we're going to be talking about the um, the the senior version specifically in this discussion. So uh, some of the features, uh, the main features here are listed um, in the bullet points that you see on the slide. Um, Two-way voice and text. Uh, so in that way, it acts essentially like a phone. Um, you get real-time location sharing. Uh, so it utilizes GPS so you know that the, where the wearer is uh, utilizing the app and you can see where they are on a map. Um, it does monitor uh, the wearer's heart rate, uh, steps and sleep, uh, just like a, um, uh, you know, like a sports, uh, more sports focused um, fitness tracker, or just, you know, your everyday off the shelf fitness tracker, like uh, other brands um, that I'm not going to mention. Um, you can set up medication reminders through the app so that um, they get uh, on uh, reminders on the watch itself when to take uh, their medications. Um, sedentary alerts, so if someone's been sitting around for too long, uh, my, my smartwatch, which is not this watch, uh, has a similar feature where if I'm sitting around for more than an hour, um, it buzzes and it lets me know, hey, you need to get up and move around. So, um, so that's a, actually a pretty useful feature. <clears throat> uh, as I mentioned, you set up and manage the watch through the uh, Timex Family Connect app. Um, the cost, um, this is pretty interesting. Uh, the, the watch itself is free, um, but you do have to um, get um, a watch line through T-Mobile, which is only 10 bucks a month. Now, um, which leads me to you know, the next piece of, piece of information. Well, let me actually speak to that for before I move on, I'm sorry. Um, you, and and I, I spell this out in the slides in a little bit, but I just want to say it up front now. You do need to have um, a, you have to have a smartphone uh, and of course the app to be able to manage the watch. So sort of like built into that is the assumption that, you know, you have a smartphone and, and, a, and, a, and an account for that. Um, in addition, currently the only provider um, in uh, the U.S. that, um, that provides the service for this watch and, and, and the free watch itself is T-Mobile. So it's kind of a, a, one, uh, a one company thing uh, at the moment anyway. Um, so moving on to some of the other uh, safety features, um, it does have built-in fall detection. Um, so it will notify um, the, um, the family member or caregiver who's using the Family Connect app that 
you know, a fall has been detected by the person wearing the, uh, the Senior Connect watch. Um, there's a one button SOS uh, function on the watch. So you can press and hold the SOS button um, and you can get assistance from the, uh, the person who, uh, the caregiver who's using the app. Um, the, um, I, I clicked a couple of bullets uh, in. Uh, it does have on watch check-in, meaning you can basically, as the, as the caregiver, you can send an alert to the watch that basically says, hi, mom, haven't talked to you in a while. Are you doing okay? And mom can basically tap the watch and say, hey, I'm doing great. Um, or no, I'm not okay. Or they can initiate a voice, uh, uh, a voice call at that point right through the watch. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's real-time location tracking. So utilizing GPS, the person wearing the watch can be tracked uh, using the, uh, the app. Um, <clears throat> now, there, is, there are different uh, levels of caregivers uh, as far as the app is concerned. There is the, uh, the person known as the primary who are, is pretty much who they sound like, the primary caregiver. Uh, that is the emergency card contact. But there are also additional users known as guardians who can be um, people who are not the primary, but who are also essentially in the loop, as it were, as far as the, um, the Family Connect um, app is concerned. Guardians, the guardians and, and the emergency contact are going to be notified anytime there is an event like a fall or if there's an SOS that's issued. Um, the, um, uh, the guardian or the primary, they can receive alerts when their client or loved one leaves a designated safe zone. So you can essentially use what's called geofencing uh, which is a term that basically um, means that you've, you're creating a, um, a geographic perimeter around a specific area. And anytime someone either enters or leaves that geofenced area, um, it triggers an event. So in this case, what we're saying is that there's a safe zone that's created. In other words, that could be the home. It could be the um, uh, independent or assisted living facility uh, where your uh, loved one or client uh, resides. And if they leave this designated safe zone, then um, you as the, uh, the primary or as one of the guardians will receive an alert through the app that this has happened. Uh, so uh, privacy and safety, as far as those types of uh, concerns, um, uh, we use the Family Connect app. We, using the Family Connect app, um, you can manage who monitors and communicates with the Senior Connect watch. So um, it's not like anyone can just tap into the watch and send a text. It's not. Um, uh, it doesn't work like a smartphone. Uh, and spam calling or texting is concerned. Um, in other words, only people who are designated contacts through the Family Connect app can communicate with the watch. So the person wearing the watch should not receive spam calls or um, text messages um, through the uh, Family Connect. Um, the primary gets to invite guardians to download the app and connect with the watch. So the primary is essentially the administrator of who gets to connect with the wearer of the Senior Connect watch. And finally, um, all communication to the watch, um, you know, as I said before, is managed through the app. Um, so um, as far as cost and availability, um, as I mentioned, the Senior Connect smartwatch is only available to T-Mobile subscribers. So you have to be a T-Mobile subscriber uh, to be able to use that. Uh, in addition, um, so yeah, well, as I, as I was spelling out before, you need a, that means you need a T-Mobile account, a smartphone, and then the Family Connect app in order to set up and manage the watch. But the watch comes for free. However, uh, the cost um, is $10 a month uh, for a watch line with T-Mobile. So 
Um, anyhow, that's the wrap on um, uh, the uh, the Timex um, Senior Connect smartwatch, as well as Alexa together. And if you have any questions about either one of those products, uh, just uh, hit me up uh, or enter those uh, in the comments. And I'll be following up here after the talk to um, address uh, any questions or comments that arise. Um, Senior Tech Coffee it meets on the first Wednesday of the month. Um, the next episode, episode 33, will be uh, in March. And uh, we'll be talking about um, a product called Notion and other productivity tools. So this uh, next episode is going to have more of a business focus. Uh, we're going to be talking about a product. Um, Notion is, it's hard to describe. Notion is a product that allows you to basically kind of create your own tools. Um, and as a business person, sometimes uh, the tools that we need are not either, either are not readily available or the ones that we want, um, they might have a fee, they might be part of a fee-based package and maybe we don't need all of that horsepower or maybe we are solopreneurs and we can't necessarily afford to pay the fees to use some of these tools. So Notion, while it does have a subscription, the free version provides a lot of power. Uh, and then in addition, there's some other tools that we'll talk about. Anyhow, you can go to um, Senior Tech Coffee, uh, the Senior Tech Coffee page on primeoflifetech.com or to the bit.ly uh, link that you see on the slide and you can uh, get more details. Um, my contact information, if you would uh, like to um, ask uh, any questions, if you uh, need a consultation to help with your uh, computers, mobile devices, smart home technology, uh, I've provide, provide a variety of services. Uh, you can learn more about me and my services at primeoflifetech.com and follow me, please, on social media. This uh, will also be available on my YouTube channel uh, if you didn't catch the beginning of the talk. I thank you if you've gotten, if you stayed with me this long, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. And that's it for today's uh, Senior Tech Coffee. And stay safe out there, everyone. Have a wonderful day.